How the hippopotamus wanted to get to the north. <laughs> Once upon a time in distant Africa there lived a hippopotamus named Toby Chukwu, who loved to bath in his favorite pond. But one day he encountered a vulture named Owen, who looked at the pond, at the hippopotamus and disappointedly shook his bald head on a long neck. Is this a pond? No, it's a dirty brown puddle full of infectious microbes. In the north there are much more wonderful bodies of water, where the water is crystal clear and cool. Toby Chukwu heard these words and desperately wanted to taste the water from the northern streams. He decided to embark on a journey to the north and asked Owen to guide him in the right direction. No way, replied the arrogant bird. I can't guide you to the north because it's cold and I don't have a hat, but I'll tell you how to get there. Stand so that the side where the sun rises is on your right, and where it sets is on your left. Then you'll be facing north. Go straight and don't turn. Toby Chukwu nodded and set off to the north. He walked through deserts, mountains and jungles, but the north never seemed to begin. Every time he asked the animals on his way if he was going in the right direction, they widened their eyes and just twisted a finger at a temple. Why on earth did the hippopotamus need the cold and gloomy north? Then Toby Chukwu heard a sound that seemed familiar. He listened and realized that not far away his best friend, the crocodile Willy, was clacking his jaws, trying in vain to catch a little agile fly. Hello, Willy! shouted the hippopotamus so loudly that, in surprise, the crocodile almost bit his own tongue. Hello, Toby Chukwu! recognized the crocodile. Glad to see you! What brings you to our parts? You know, my friend, I'm heading north, explained the hippopotamus. They say the water there is crystal clear and cool, unlike ours. So I want to go there and taste it. Really? pondered Willy. That's very strange because if you're going north, how did you end up here? I live south of you. Are you sure you choose the right direction? Yes, I stood with my right side facing where the sun rises and my left side where it sets. I think something doesn't add up here doubted the crocodile, because right now you're standing with your right side facing where the sun sets and your left side facing where it rises. Are you sure? sighed Toby Chukwu. Of course, Toby Chukwu. I'm very good at distinguishing right from left because I have a constant toothache on the right. Well, that's it, the hippopotamus sighed. It's all in vain and I won't taste the crystal clear water from the northern streams. Don't be upset, my friend, exclaimed the crocodile. I have a wonderful idea. Let's go to our acquaintance, the monkey Barbara. We'll get a couple of oranges from her. Then we'll go to our local king, Lion Leonid. Like any king, he has a wonder of technology, a refrigerator. We'll make orange juice from the oranges and ask the lion for ice from the refrigerator. And we'll have a delicious cold refreshing drink. It's not the cold water from the northern streams, but at least we won't have to go far. Toby Chuk would really like this idea. And he and the crocodile spend a great evening with a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice with ice. However, the idea of heading north never left Toby Chukwu. 